So in this video, I'm going to take you behind the scenes on the Silverstone Half Marathon, where Ted and Oscar, who I'm currently coaching, are going to run. Hopefully, they're going to cross through all. Let's go. Training, let's go. <laughs> Look at your socks, Oscar. How are you feeling today, Ted? Feeling good. Good sleep. Good. Good breakfast. A little nervous, but yeah, happy to be on. And you got you got everything you need for the race. Uh, everything except my badge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, classic. Morning off, not having the badge, but I'm sure we're gonna figure that out. So the big question, what is your goal? Uh, tentatively, I have a goal of 155, uh, but we'll see how it goes. If you do a sub two hour, that's like the big, yeah. 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 Sub two hour for sure. Yeah. So it's, it's Ted's first half marathon, but he's had a really solid training period. All his thresholds to me say that he's gonna run faster than he thinks so it's just about starting off slower and then easing into the pace Maybe this is my second half the, the first one has been two years in Amsterdam probably quite similar course just as flat probably then I did a 142 and I also feel like I've done a lot of good training since then so but still it's been so long so it's hard to say I'd be super happy if I'm able to go sub 135. And why, we'll see. Why 135? Where did that come from? Also, my dad's record is like he believes it's around 138. So I just need to make sure I'm like comfortably below that number, just to make sure there can't be any disputes. Can you do anything about cramping? Like, is there any anything to mitigate it? Yeah. So electrolytes and nutrition so taking the gels taking water in every water station and not like drinking a ton of water at once but just like sipping, sipping. so for my half last half marathon the Copenhagen half marathon I was chugging water and I got like a really bad stitch and it's hard to say that was why like I think the pace but I definitely like had a lot of pain because of the stitch so I would instead decrease your pace a little bit just to make sure that you're really getting all that water. So we have arrived at Coronado, which is where the race is going to be. So it starts on the beach almost, like 10 blocks or something this way. Yeah. We're arriving at the start. Off with the shorts. I'm gonna be so much more aerodynamic without these shorts. Yeah. And no chafing. No chafing. Brilliant. Alright, see you later. Bye. Hey. Where are you? I just parked. I'm like right down the street. How'd it go for you? We're over by like pretty pretty close to in front of where the uh, the Silver Strand like starting thing is. Uh, yeah. I just was rendezvousing with the gang and then we'll try to do some more laps here in a second. Okay, perfect. So did you get your bib, a new bib? I did. They just gave me a little, like I showed them my other bib and they just changed the number and gave me one. So oh my God. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. I'm the one who's like parking in the car. I like this though. <laughs> but I still have race nerves just on Ted and Oscar's behalf. But I'm sure that they're both gonna crush it. They've had some really solid training and both of them had a good tape.
Yo! Yeah. What are you guys doing? You have to warm up. I'm gonna go right now. Okay. Are you I just want to give you my Terrible. thing. Oh. I'm going for a solid four hour, four hour half today. <laughs> After this, you're gonna want me as your coach. Are you? Okay, maybe. <laughs> I <didn't> recommend. <laughs> there is limited space on those buses. Let's go. Less than two minutes. Your lucky number. Ah. I'm gonna take on one of these. Okay, click it in. I love you. How far? Okay. Go for them. Go for them. Now I'm gonna drive to the finish line. And then my plan is to walk or run to an area where I can see them on both sides. And then go back to the finish line or sprint before them. just found parking and it's been 38 minutes since they started. Definitely a lot of walking when you're watching someone race. Okay, I think I just saw Ted. Ted is ahead of the two hour mark. I'm at the Silver Seven Half Marathon finish line and I'm cheering on Oscar and Ted. Ted is running his first half marathon, which is super exciting. I have a really good feeling about both of them. And Oscar's goal is to run a sub 135 half marathon. And I'm expecting Oscar to come in about 10 minutes. It's gonna be so much fun. You got this! Sister, sister! Alright, way to go. 499! Woo! Nice guy! He looks fucking tired. You're on track! Woo! You got this! We are so fucking close. I know. You're looking so strong, you got this! Good luck! Just before I met you, I saw a crap thing here. Okay. I don't know if you saw, but I was like almost running on the yeah. steep legs. Yeah. Because if I bended it, yeah. Uh, <laughs> crap thing. <laughs> it was absolutely horrible. Oh my god. Like it was twice as bad as like the one two years ago. Oh really? Oh yeah, it was horrible. <laughs> and I did okay. my dad's record. But that 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 is what happens when you start over the end. Instead of working where you're at. Let's go, Ted! Let's go! Well done. How did you do, man? It was horrible. <laughs> I, I, I blew up. I blew up second half. It was just hell. I definitely started to cramp, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got so close. So close. Oh, but you still made, you have to, this is your first half. You still made this up two hours. Oh yeah, I was thinking 155.55. Hey, you were on 155. That was the goal, right? 
150 sub 135. Yeah, right? yeah. So, Caroline just picked us up. We're back in the car. I'm so proud of them. How are we feeling? Really good, really good. Very tired. Knees hurt, feet hurt, body yeah. hurts. Yeah. How about bit. you? Oh, same. Especially my knees are next level in pain right now. Which was sort of, I think even in the car this morning, I was, we we're talking about it and my kind of biggest fear was, yeah, just that my legs aren't used to the pounding more so than me not necessarily having like the cardio capacity. Yeah. And like, that's exactly what sort of, I was manifesting it in the car yeah. going over here. Cause like my heart rate was okay. My breathing was like controlled the whole way. But after 10, 12 kilometers, uh, my legs just, the acid started coming and my knees started hurting. And that's why it's really important to train for a good chunk of time before the race. And not only just to then feel better on race day, but for the recovery to be smoother. I can guarantee you that the recovery is going to be a little bit, like pretty long, Oscar. I think um, the like 12 to 14 week training regimen is like was a really good amount of time like it felt like it mm. wasn't too long but yeah i felt prepared and to, to execute at least what my my goal was yeah but uh, you were running still before that Ted, right yeah i mean yeah. but not not 30 miles a no, week no, no, or whatever. no no yeah so i would recommend having like a, a base period where you are running like consistently so that you don't go straight into marathon training yeah and that's what oscar did and then we just jumped into it really quick which is you know the body it's it's able to handle it but it just it makes the process a little bit more rough than it needs to be how has it been having a coach and has there been any benefits of training on heart rate because both of you have been due to that so i think for me obviously we've been preaching uh heart rate training for quite a while and I, I definitely see the benefit. You know, I still feel that I'm getting fitter, even though I don't feel as sore and sort of worn out after every session. I feel you know, more fresh. Uh, I think that's definitely been some benefits there of having like a clearer polarization sort of between just a lot of easy stuff and then some relatively hard stuff. I think for me specifically, like I haven't done that long of a build, only a few weeks really. So I think if, if, if moving forward, like uh, I can keep, you know, adding some more tempo stuff, I bet like my uh, my running fitness is gonna improve a lot. I think also like a big one, having you sort of coaching me, a big one has definitely been nutrition, both in training and also for the race. I think for me, having a coach was huge and I'm super grateful and appreciative to Caroline for, for all her help, her inspiration, like all the time and the hours that she put into making me believe in myself. Like this was a massive triumph for me as a person. Like I couldn't finish my high school 5K. I used to weigh 360 pounds and like getting to a point where now that I can run a sub two hour half marathon is like something that I never thought would have been in my capacity as a human. And so um, I'm just super grateful. And I think like was skeptical at first of the training program with heart rate and it felt like I was running so slow, but my endurance got drastically better during the course of my training program. And, um, and, and just my time on my feet felt consistently better over the course of the training program so would highly recommend thank you so much for watching check out my copenhagen half marathon video where i ran a 125 half marathon and if you're interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me as your coach then fill out my form below